Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Blue Tongue Genesis Hybrid, which is made by this Australian modder called Blue Tongue Mods. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! I'm sorry, I just had to do that. Now, you can pick one of these guys up at bluetonguemods.com.au, which is spelled as B L U E T O N G U E M O D S dot com dot AU, and it goes for 160 Australian dollars um, plus shipping which I'm guessing it works out with the current exchange rate to be around 150 thereabouts US dollars. So I currently have mine set up with a 0.8 ohms coil and 3 to 5 straw mesh. So let's take a vape and talk about it. So Blue Tongue Mods is actually owned by this really awesome Aussie chap called Nick. If you're watching this, hi Nick! Now, when you first receive um, the hybrid, it will come in its stock 18350 mode as seen here. And it will also come with like a battery extension tube. So you're able to run this mod in like 18350 mode, 18490, 18500 mode and 18650 mode. So if I'm not wrong, this is actually the first telescoping hybrid that's currently out there in the market. So huge props to Nick for actually like coming out with this design. Now, the air hole of this guy is 1.5 mm. However, it is an adjustable air hole. It's adjustable in that it's actually a dual um, top cap design where the initial like bottom top cap houses the stock 1.5 mm air hole while the adjustable like top cap portion which is threaded on allows you to like screw it on for you to like choose how tight or like how loose you want to draw just by simply like lining up or like tightening up the air hole with like the additional material on like this ex extra top cap layer. Now the overall top cap design is threaded on as well and when you first look under the hood you would find that it has two 3mm wig holes and three ground screws. Now when you first receive it, it the, this extra wig hole as seen here is actually covered with like this, um, if I'm not wrong, Teflon insulator kind of thing. So you kind of are able to like close up this extra wig hole if you're not using it, should you decide to. Now it comes with like, all the screws on this guy are all Phillips head screws. However, one thing I did not like about it is that while the wick hole is actually housed really close to the center post, I found the ground screw to be just a tad bit too far. And because of that, when I first recorded it for like the very first time, I had a fair bit of shots. However, that was easily solved um, just by tweaking my coils a fair bit. The center post of this guy is actually spring loaded, as you can see here. And the concept of this is actually rather similar to that of the AC9 or the RSST, in which all you have to do is just trap your ground um, wire and then wrap, wrap, wrap and trap it down like this um, spring loaded center post design. Really easy to like set this up in my opinion, as apart from like the shorting issues that I have, the initial part, uh, the initial wrapping, I was able to do it in like under a minute, which is something that it's a huge plus to me as I'm not a big fan of like having to use multiple tools in the, the overall setting up process. Now, the tank capacity of this guy is 4ml and the tank is actually made out of Pyrex so you don't have to worry about any like juice cracking issues and so on and so forth. When you first receive um, the switch assembly, the switch, the initial switch that you receive stock from them, has a multiple vent hose at the side and it will come with like a brass spring. However, from what I heard from like the owners current the owner of um, Blue Tongue Mods currently, they are actually sending out magnetic upgrades with the switch. So you are able to like use um, you're able to like choose whether you like to use magnets or like the current like initial spring setup that they have that it comes stock. The current, the stock throw of um, the switch is actually fairly short. It's roughly about 1 mm to like 1.5 mm. And what I like about it, apart from the fact that all the contacts of um, this hybrid is actually made out of brass, 
it's that you're a the switch is recess and you're able to like leave it on your desk and not have it like and not worry about your entire like hybrid firing by itself and so on so forth now for those of you who like to like who like the design of like the mod itself you're also currently able to like pick up a 510 top cap for 25 Aussie dollars off the website and with this top cap you're able to like switch your entire hybrid into a mechanical mod just by simply unscrewing this top portion which houses your Genesis atomizer. One thing that I was a bit disappointed though is that this um, threading of like the Genesis atomizer portion and the switch is not 20 by 1 threaded so you're not able to use it with like your Pops tube, your Caravella tubes and so on so forth. However, I do like the concept of like the 510 top cap design as it houses a telescoping um, brass 510 pose and it's actually rather reminiscent of the Chiyu. But what I like more about this design as compared to the Chiyu is that there are like quite a fair bit of knurlings on the various like brass pins and because of that, it makes the overall like gripping of the different pin connectors just so much easier and like such a breeze to use in my opinion. So yeah, overall do check out this Blue Town Genesis hybrid. I like this mod a lot and I'm really proud to say that it's actually Australian made. One gripe that I have though is that I really really would have liked to have seen the ground post, the ground screw of this guy just move a tad bit closer to like the wick hole as I personally think that it will enable the entire recoiling process to be just so much easier as a further like ground screw on like the FT deck can actually result in like more shots happening to your overall coil and wig setup. Another thing that I didn't quite like though it's that while the machining of this guy is great um, it's spot on in my opinion in that even though the top cap etc are all like threaded on I, I did not have an issue with like things not lining up so machining is great however the finish of the product could have been just like a tad bit better in my opinion. I'm not too sure if this is just for my hybrid but I'm just going to mention it anyway. However as the Dalrin portion of this guy had like a fair bit of bows. I'm not too sure if you can see it. As yep over here as seen here this portion here. It had a, quite a fair bit of bows and when I first received the tube there were a fair bit of like scratches on the side of the tube but that's just me nitpicking. Um, for those of you who are wondering, the metal portion of this tube are all like brush, brush finish and it is actually really similar to like the brush finish uh, on that of like a Caravella tube for those of you who are just wondering. Um, the extension tube however is a mix of like brush and like I'm guessing this is more like a machine finish kind of like center portion of the telescoping portion of the overall mechanical tube. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen. Definitely check out Blue Town Mods um, for the price. I currently can't think of like a better hybrid that is as versatile as this that's currently out there. And yeah, Australian made. Go Aussie. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you. And happy holidays. This will be the last video that I'm posting this year. And here's to a better year in 2014. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.